Hey guys, we're going into the guest suite today. That's two bedrooms and a bath. And it's the guest suite, so it's not where we live. And I have just redone the one bedroom and I've decorated the other one for fall. And they're so cute, so stay tuned. We're here on the west wing of the house. And when you come in the door, you see this. And there's, uh, there's actually a little bedroom behind there and a little music room, but I never show you because it also ends up being storage and a mess. But my witchy is here. I'm loving my witch. She is not a rugged chick. Someone in Lancaster, Pennsylvania made her all by hand. And she might be a little easier to get than a rugged chick. I don't know. But I found her and you know me, I just had to buy her. I mean, look at the detail on her. She's very different from the rugged chick, right? Her face kind of looks like a moon. Her broom is straw. Her hands are gnarly. I think her hands are fantastic. So that's what I love about her. And I love her, uh, I ended up putting like a little piece of her dress in her hands because I wanted to expose those legs. Aren't they cool? She's got fat ankles and pointy shoes and she's got a lot of details that my rugged chick doesn't have. Plus her broom is this very cool stick with straw. Uh, her hair is, I don't know if that's some kind of jew or something. It's um, and maybe spray painted, I don't know. But I just thought this, this little lady was so great. And I thought about her actually for a whole week. And then I ran back hoping she'd still be there. And maybe I'm the only one with this witch obsession, but yeah. All right, we're gonna go into the two bedrooms. Okay, we're going into the first of the two bedrooms that I wanna show you. If you remember on the pre-tour, this bed had a white comforter on it, a white quill actually, it was like a, a little blue toile pattern. And everything was light and pretty and summery. And I went ahead and made this a lot more autumn looking without a lot of hassle. So the first thing I did was I threw this quilt on top and I threw the quilt right over the quilt that was there. See that? Because you know, in the fall and winter, people want more blankets anyway. So why go through all the hassle of taking that quilt off and putting it away? Why not just throw another quilt on it? So what a great way to, to have things. The other thing I did, you can see, is I put that little angel on the bed because she's just kind of a little bit homemade treat. And then one of my black throws because that just kind of tied in some of the black and there's a little bit of black on the quilt and there's black on this blanket chest that shirtless Tom made for me a while ago. And then I tied that black in again in the frame over the bed. So I did have that little wreath there and that looked fine. But as I started to do this, I wanted something heavier over the bed. And I love this picture. This is of my girls. I took this on my oldest daughter's 16th birthday when I was helping lead a seminar in creative photography. And we used them as our models. They were reluctant, but I love that picture. So that picture is there. The frame is great. And that willow tree was there. So nothing new there. That lamp was there. Even the clothing was here, but I did add a basket and I did kind of fix up that clothing a little just so that the skirt would show a little more and the vest and the, uh, and it's kind of a nighty, but you know, whatever that is, that shirt thing would be exposed. And I love the way this looks. It's so autumn-y. Dewey's at it again. Now over here, remember I had my horse up there and I love this horse. I love, 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 love it. And where did I get it? Let's see. Overlook Farm Antiques up in Northern Massachusetts. And I saw them at a booth at Sturbridge Village. 
and they are super nice. They have an amazing little antique shop that has wonderful items like this and I so he came from there. He was my 60th birthday present. And here's that wreath that I had over the bed and I just put shirtless Tom, the pumpkin man here, or shirtless pumpkin man Tom or shirt, whatever his name is. He's there. And then I decided to make the desk look like an actual place where someone might be sitting. So there's some family portraits there exposed in here, which just looks so cute. And then a lot of antique books and then my little antique glasses. So that's all there is to this room. I did add those tiers again, that open weave tier. I, they're a loose weave tier. I love those. They're what I'm showing this year in my house. <laughs> And you can order them from Primitive Goods. And that's the end of this room. But I think it's a perfect autumn room. It's cozy. See, I have this carpet in here. We did paint this floor when we moved in. There was a wall-to-wall a, a -wall carpet that we took out and we painted the floor. The bed is antique. It's just like Alice's, you can put the rope in there. I haven't put the rope in there. And then the, and then this secretary is also antique and it's just beautiful. I love this room. I think the furniture makes this room. And honestly, when you have a room like this, it's very small. It's, it's, it's very small, nine by 12 maybe. And so you just have enough room for a bed, a couple of end tables, and something like a dresser or a secretary. You know, there is a little room here for that blanket chest, but you don't have a lot of room for anything else. So then what you have in it really matters and sets the tone for the room. And I believe this furniture really does set the tone for the room. Well guys, I've been working on this room for years. I have done so many different things to it and I've never been satisfied. I've taken beds in, I've taken beds out, I've had different beds in here. I mean, I had a twin and a queen, a uh, full and a queen, a different queen and a queen, a twin and a full. I, I have done so much here and in the end, here I am with this configuration. It's just amazing to me that I finally did something that I'm really feeling good about. So let's take a closer look at this room because I think you'll recognize some ideas as we look around. So first of all, I've never had a theme in this room. I haven't known what to do with it. I didn't know how it should be. I had this almost since the beginning and I really like this. My cousin Elaine found that at the Salvation Army uh, for $125 and this thing is heavy and it's really cool. I mean, I look at this and I think of that. I don't know if you guys saw that Hallmark movie, The Love Story years ago or Love Letters or I think it was The Love Letter and uh, this woman was this guy bought an old antique desk and there was a letter in there from this woman and they fell in love by writing letters that were going through time. I don't know, it was fascinating. But anyway, I think of that movie when I'm looking at this, this secretary, it's just so cool. Um, Alice has inspired this room and Alice's bedchamber has inspired this room because I don't know if you guys remember, but Alice's bedchamber, she built some paneling on the wall. And that reminded me of this room that has all these panel doors for a closet. This is three closets against those panel doors. And I keep a lot of stuff in those closets, but I try to keep the one on the end open for guests when they come. But in the other two, I store a lot of bedding and yoga stuff and that kind of stuff. So, but that just made me think about her beautiful room 
and I thought, you know, with the yellow and this blue color, maybe I should go nautical in this room. And when you look at the floor, this is what I started with, is that really cool stenciled floor, and I've never wanted to change that. But the bright yellow floor kind of, it's kind of a, a decorating challenge, I have to tell you. So one of the colors that I've always thought would look good with the bright yellow floor would be red, because red would warm up that area a lot. And um, blue in this area kind of grounds it. So for the past few years, I've been going with more blues in this room to ground this area. Then when I decided to go nautical, I had a whole bunch of ideas. Well, first of all, I don't know if you guys remember this. I bought this this summer. It is uh, from Niantic. It's from the Old Salt Box or Old Red Salt Box. It's a primitive store in Niantic, Connecticut. And I love that whale. I just thought that whale was so great. And so he had to come home with me. And he looks really good up there. I already had a nail there. I just threw him on it and he was perfect. I already had this mirror. That was something that was left in the barn when we moved in. And I've struggled where to put it because I didn't have any room that felt that nautical. But suddenly that mirror with that whale just said nautical all over the place. So then if I was gonna go nautical, then I was thinking about more red, white, and blue. And I had these blue, uh, these are blue sunblocker curtains that I just got at Walmart that I've had up there for a few years. They're just on a hook so that guests can take them down and uh, darken the room when they sleep in here and have privacy. So that's going on. I've got the blue and the panels, and then these are the chairs that I just moved in from the family room. So you can see these chairs are the perfect chair for this bedroom. I mean, perfect. And we did have these chairs in this bedroom for a while before I moved them into the family room, but they had to come back. It just, it was going to be imperative. And if you look at the pattern in these chairs, they feel very Americana to me and they have the blue and the black and the ecru and the burgundy. So they have all the color combinations that I'm pulling into this room. And then I had these, this blue carpet, it's blue and burgundy. And this is one of the carpets that I picked up at Ocean State Job Lot. And it's, you know, I mean, well, I get good deals there. And uh, it's a beautiful pattern. And so it didn't cost me a whole lot of money. I have a little runner that goes with it. And so I had that to start with. Then one day, I went to an antique store and this antique store had a whole bunch of primitive items in one of the booths and I, I kind of bought them out. I bought a blanket chest, I bought this and I bought that tavern table in my tavern. But they had decent prices and I loved the furniture. So that came home with me and I felt like that table with that mirror was so perfect. This lamp I picked up at um, Sundean Furniture in Whitensville, Massachusetts, and to me, it kind of reminds me of ship sales. I've got a whole story going on with all of this. Then, of course, I have my primitive man, who is so handsome. He's probably a lawyer. And then I have my primitive woman, who looks like she's probably a sea captain's wife. And I really love her, but what they did in the olden days was they would put something that had to do with who that person was in the portrait. And if you see this view out at the sea, it probably means that she's waiting for her captain to come home, or maybe she's a widow of a sea captain. But for whatever reason, she belongs in this room. Here I have who I call my handsome sea captain because he's just so good looking. I mean, he's really cute. And um, I, had to, I had to do him, I had to make him. So he's, 
here also. So we've got the sea captain. And then we have the Naidi, maybe of the woman who's waiting on her sea captain. We've got this cool small dresser. Thank you, Bill and Priscilla. Love it. And a little Windsor rocking chair. are two queen beds and they are from Amazon. I did have a link for these in my store. They were, wow, when I bought them a couple years ago, they were like $165 each. They were dirt cheap. You don't even need a box spring. You put your mattress right on the base. You build them. It takes about an hour to put them together and it was no big deal. They're beautiful. And that gray happens to really uh, look really good with the gray blue color that I have in the room and in the floor. So I once again push these against the one wall there and put them together, kind of hotel style. And then they, the one thing about them is they are pushed against the walls on either side and that's kind of a pain to make. But I really like that it's giving me so much space because it's giving me a seat, sitting area and the sleeping area. to auntie my uncle bud who just died these were given to my tante auntie and my uncle bud and tante gave them to me before she died and i treasure those and i felt like the blue looked really good with the rest of the room so i decided to display them they're actually christmas plates but i think they look great Let's talk about the bedding on the beds. These, uh, this has been my biggest problem. Where do you even find two comforters or bedspreads that match in the same size? These days at the stores, you can't do it. They have like one. It's very hard to find two, and if you find two, it's certainly not the style you want. You'd have to order them online, and then you're not sure they're gonna look the way you want them to when you get them. So I took a trip to my favorite local primitive store and went to um, visit Kathy at Woodstock Country Shop and said, you know, I think I need something that's more bold. I want it to be red. That was what I originally thought that red would look nice. And I want two the same. And of course, when we looked, I couldn't find two the same of anything that I wanted to use. Everything was a lot more neutral. So Kathy had this great idea to put the red, white, and blue together since my room was red, white, and blue. So we found this, which I think is beautiful. I love the way that looks. I had this throw, and then this has the same Gettysburg pattern which is very interesting to me because that movie I was just telling you about took place in Gettysburg. I mean, and this is the blue and red throw that she paired with it. And I think I really like it, guys. It's, um, it gives enough interest in the room. I think it might be a little too dull and too hotel looking if both beds matched and you were matchy matchy. I think that these coordinate so well and they give enough variety and intrigue in the room that um, it's keeping me excited and occupied, happy. So did I decorate this room for fall? I've got two pumpkins on the dresser. <laughs> that might be about it. More might come in. 
as, as time goes on, but I wanted to get this room decorated initially so that you could see it and so that I could enjoy it and so that I could have guests here and they could enjoy it. It's uh, been a long time in coming, making this room what I really want it to be. And even though each iteration was beautiful, I'm feeling a whole lot better about this. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the bedrooms. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Now I feel like I could invite people over to the rooms and say, hey, look at these. I haven't done anything to the bathroom here that goes with the rooms. Let's go take a look there again because I bet you lots of you haven't seen it. Oh my goodness, isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> Cammy has a little, a little uh, towel for Dewey. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right, here's the bathroom. <laughs> I've got it decked out really for summer. That is an old picture of, actually, you guys will appreciate this. See that little girl there crying? That's Cousin Mel's mom. So sitting right next to her, that other little girl is my Auntie Jen, who's been gone for many years now. My grandma is right on top of her. And then Jenny and Jesse, their cousins, they're both gone. And then um, uh, Mike, Mike there, he is in his late 90s. So this is an old picture. That's my Auntie Mamie. And that's just a really fun picture. So I have that up here all the time. This is kind of a photograph bathroom. That's a little more farmhouse, but it's kind of fun. And then I've got an oval mirror on the closet which works and usually I have that full of towels and then over here this is a picture of our home when it was a restaurant in the early 1900s and it was made into a postcard so you can see that this part right there is the room that we were just in and they built that new at that time so that's part of the room that we were just in. And then this is the front of the house, the cape part of the house that has our uh, living room, dining room that we just went into and our tavern. And then the window there goes to the upstairs. And you can see too, those are the shutters that have the bear on them. And this is just really cool. It's a cool piece of history that I like to have in here. So. This isn't decidedly primitive. This is more farmhouse. When we moved in, we needed to do something about the walls. And so we put corrugated metal in there and it covered up all the plastic mess. We put in a new shower head, a really cool one, and it made it kind of cool. And we cleaned out the tub really well. And then we ended up having to build this little section around this too. So it came out really cool. And then we have a cupboard here, and this cupboard gives us some storage. Well, it's a good cupboard. Another cupboard on the bottom. I actually, I did paint this. This was wood, and it was an old primitive look. But I really wanted the bathroom to feel clean, and um, it wasn't feeling that clean to me with the old wood. It was feeling closed in and I just couldn't make it work. So I did end up painting this whole thing white and then I painted the floor pink. It's kind of a, it's a blush pink, but see it shows dirt and it, it's, it's showing a lot of dirt now. So that's gonna have to be something that I eventually address. I put some wisdom there. If you're sitting on the john, <laughs> you can contemplate that there are 
two days in the year that nothing can be done yesterday and tomorrow, but today's the right day to do all you can do, so, and to live. <laughs> and then this is so cute. I picked this up at a different store. Um, when they were clearing it out, they were doing a lot of, they had a lot of primitive, and um, then they went more farmhouse and I saw this and just loved it. So that's where we hang our towels. It's, it's super cute and it works. So today we've seen two bedrooms and a bathroom and that makes up my guest suite. We actually have a door that goes between this guest suite and the rest of the house so that if we had people stay here, they could just be over here. Um, we haven't done that because of COVID. So uh, at some time, hopefully when COVID is uh, more of a memory and less of a threat, we're gonna go with that. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great time. This has been fun to show you different parts of the house. I will have more to show you again and we'll see you soon. Bye.